In this tutorial video we'll be looking at hire purchase. Now hire purchase is an agreement between um, good suppliers and people whereby they can pay a deposit um, to purchase goods which they receive straight away and then the remainder of the money owing is in a loan arrangement. So in this example Grace wants to buy an entertainment centre for a new theatre room valued at $12,500. She's a bit low on cash and so she goes to Radio Rentals and arranges a hire purchase arrangement. In this hire purchase arrangement, the price of the goods is $12,500 and quite commonly you're required to pay something like a 10% deposit. So we'll use a deposit of $1,250. That's paid up front, there's no interest attracted on that particular amount. She then has a remainder of $11,250 that she has to loan from either the store or an institution representing the store. This amount does in fact attract interest and as you'll see this is where the higher purchase arrangement actually costs money. The terms of the uh, agreement for Grace are there's a 10% deposit which comes out to $1,250 and 36 monthly installments of $420. Now clearly, this arrangement is going to cost considerably more than the basic $12,500 that the sound system and stereo equipment is worth. Um, and this is because there is a loan involved. The deposit comes off the uh, price, uh, however the monthly instalments well and truly outweighs the remaining $11,250 loan. In fact, the difference between the two gives you the amount of interest that's being charged. So you're paying for the privilege of having your product early or your good early. Let's look at this arrangement. So we have a price of $12,500, deposit of $1,250 or 10%, and then there are monthly instalments of value $420 over 3 years or 36 months. So the actual loan amount is the difference between the price and the deposit, as we've mentioned, $11,250. The total cost on the loan component is the number of instalments multiplied by the value of the instalment, so 36 monthly instalments over three years at a value of $420 means you're paying $15,120 for the privilege of this loan. So clearly the interest charged is how much above and beyond the loan that you paid back. So you've paid $15,120 and you owed $11,250. So the financial institute or the store has charged you $3,870 interest in this example. So the total cost of the goods, as you can see, is the deposit plus the amount you've loaned plus the interest. It was originally of value $12,500, but this three-year payment plan means at the end you have actually paid $16,370, considerably more um, than what it's actually worth. The upside is though, you can get this straight away once you've paid the deposit and that's the benefit and why people consider a higher purchase loan. Finally, let's see if we can work out the interest rate over that three years. So we're after the rate in percent per annum. The principal, important to notice that the principal is the principal amount of the loan, not the total price of 12500 because we've already paid a deposit, it's the amount that we're loaning, the 11250 the term is for three years. It was 36 months, but we need to keep this in years because the rate's per annum as well. And the interest charge was 3870 Remembering this model is a flat rate or a simple interest model. So our flat rate equation, substitute in our values, and we find that there's a flat rate interest rate of 11.47% per annum.